Welcome to Specify. This video will show you the tools and offer some tips for entering data in the form view in the workbench. This is the first of a two-part series and is meant to be viewed along with entering data in grid view. Let's get started. I am already in the workbench. Now I simply need to go to the sidebar and click on a data set. I'm going to open example data set which is the same data set I have used in other videos. My data set opens in grid view, but I want to show you form view tools. So I'm going to come down to the bottom right and click on the form view or form edit button. As you can see, my form opens and I have rearranged my fields to allow me to enter data a bit more quickly. If you have any questions about how to do this, you should watch the editing forms in the workbench video. The best way that Specify can help you when entering data is to automate any duplicate data and that is what most of the tools are based on. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and enter data into fields that would have duplicate data or would be the same for many records and for any fields that are going to be unique I'm just going to say unique. So station field number would be the same whether I am out in the field uh, using the workbench or if I'm entering legacy data this could also be duplicated so I'm going to go ahead and put in some data catalog number would be unique and I'm going to copy and paste that by highlighting it and hitting my control C key. Field number would be unique, so I am going to control V and put in unique. I do want to mention here that if you are using your keyboard that you can use the tab key to go between fields and it does move from left to right and top to bottom, which is just how I filled in that top row. Uh, genus could be the same, could be different. This I'm going to show you a tool in the grid view, so I'm going to skip those for now. Prepared date I want to talk about in grid view as well, so I'm going to skip that. Prepared by first name could definitely be the same, so I'm going to go ahead and fill that in. Prep type. Typically there's just a handful of prep types, and within specify these are going to be in a pick list and specify ships with pick lists already created for most disciplines. So you want to make sure that you're using or at least have the same choices in the pick list that you are putting into the workbench data set. And to do this, you need to watch a different video. It is called uh, editing system pick list and that will show you how to do that. So for this example, I am going to say that I have three choices and they are skeleton, alcohol, and tissue. And it's going to change for each one, so I'm going to go ahead and fill in that field because I want to use this as an example for a tool that is in grid view as well. So for this one I'll say S for skeleton. My count will change, so that's going to be unique. I'm going to hit control V. And all of these will be unique. So I'm just going to go ahead and go between them and say, well, typically they'll be unique, that they are unique and remarks I'm going to leave blank. So the tool that I want to show you is down on the right and it's called carry forward and you can actually configure it for the fields that have duplicate data. So let's go ahead and click on carry forward and it pops up and I want my station field number we said would not change typically for at least a few records. Catalog numbers unique will skip. Let's see what else did we say? Let me move this over. I said that I wanted prepared by first name and last name and that's pretty much it for this example but as you can imagine when you are using your own data set there could be many more fields. I'm going to go ahead and say OK and then show you how this works by clicking on the Add Record button at the bottom of the workspace. 
And as you can see in my new record, whatever I configured for carry forward carries to the next record. So my station field number remains the same, my prepared by first name and my prepared by last name also remains the same. All the other fields that I said were unique did not change because I did not configure them in carry forward. And at this point, I can continue to add records and enter data. And I can even go in and reconfigure that carry forward at any time if I need to. This concludes the video for entering data in the form view. I do encourage you to watch the entering data in grid view video where I will continue with this same data set and the tools and tips for data entry. Thank you for watching.